So this is the thesaurus exercise, and this is a good way to broaden your vocabulary, to start using richer words, things that have more of a, of a mental image. Uh, and, and so here's an example. Uh, I was reading an article about the U.S. Federal Reserve, and it used uh, a word tension. So I thought, let's take this word tension and let's apply the thesaurus exercise to it. So here's the thesaurus exercise. We go to any thesaurus, in this case, the thesaurus.com. And I don't know if you're familiar with the thesaurus. The thesaurus is basically a dictionary that lists similar words. So uh, we go to thesaurus.com and we type in tension press enter and see what comes up in this case in uh, thesaurus.com look for the uh, dark orange words there are light orange words and really light orange words and at thesaurus.com at least those are words that are not quite as close to the word to the original word tension so in this case we have three dark orange words pressure strain and stress and so the thing to remember about these thesaurus words is that you might start out with uh, a general word that doesn't really have any mental images like tension uh, Thesaurus, any thesaurus, and this thesaurus, thesaurus.com, will give you other words that are similar but might have slightly different meanings and they might have slightly different mental images. And so this is a good example for that. Tension is a general word. It doesn't really put any images into our brain. Uh, there is tension in the office. It doesn't really tell us a lot. These three words, pressure, strain, and stress. Pressure, strain, and stress, they all mean similar things, similar, similar to tension. But the difference is that pressure puts in an image of a physical force, like, you know, hot water building up in a kettle and about to explode or a gas getting really tight and about to explode. Uh, so pressure is a word for, for physical force. And a, an example would be uh, there's a lot of pressure from the, or because of the investor request to open more stores, the office is under a lot of pressure to, or the, retail operations office is under a lot of pressure these days. Strain, the word strain, makes people think of breaking, cracking. Uh, so use the word strain when you want to imply that somebody is in danger that they might break or they might crack from the, from the tension. Uh, an example would be uh, this bad event put a lot of strain on our marriage. If you say that sentence, people think oh, maybe the marriage is about to break up. If you say, for example, uh, the fall in the Russian ruble put a lot of strain on our company's finances. Uh, if you use the word strain there, it makes people think that maybe your finances are about to break uh, because of the, the fall of the Russian ruble. Stress is, there's an emotional content to that word. So if you use this word stress, it focuses people, the mental image that they have, their focus is on your, on your emotional state. So for example, you could say uh, the investors asked us to open a bunch of stores, new stores, so the retail operations department is under a lot of stress these days. The mental image there 
is that maybe the retail operations department is to, about to get really angry and come in with a gun and shoot everybody. Maybe they're about to break emotionally. Maybe there's, they're, they're just not emotionally strong enough to handle it. So anyway, pressure, strain, and stress. And in the email, I'm going to uh, describe uh, what to do for step number two of this exercise.